Welcome back everyone. I know it's been a while. A lot of people asking about what's been going on, why we haven't posted. As you may have watched or may have not watched, um, our last video was on December 8th, so, you know, before 2024, so it's been a while. I think it says 129 days or something like that on, on YouTube. Um, but we are back. I've been wanting to do this video for quite a long time. Um, we've been in the shop. The last time we were in the shop was probably about a month ago. Um, we're back in here today doing tires. If Amber pans around, you'll see. It's kind of a mess doing some tires, getting ready to go. But if she pans around and looks at the car, we're not even ready there. Um, we obviously got a new car. This is a different car than what we had from last year. Last year we had a 2016 updated by SSR to their 2022 standards. This is a 2022 with under 50 races. Um, everything on it, bolt on parts, everything like that will be brand new. The only thing that'll be used is probably the seat and the motors. Same motor that we had ran last year. Just put new valve springs in it, new rockers, all that st different stuff. Um, so yeah, so I got a couple things to talk about here. One, sponsorship. Um, we have a huge, when I say huge, I mean absolutely huge amount of availability and sponsorship for 2024 and beyond. Um, we had an unusual Wisconsin weather, winter weather this year. It was really, really warm, very abnormal for Wisconsin, Minnesota, and above winter. Um, we hardly got any snow. and. We have a lot of sponsors that do a lot of work in the winter time and unfortunately they weren't able to make money and i would rather them pay their bills and worry about them first than worry about me so there comes a new opportunity for you if you're looking to sponsor myself um our race team and whatever we could use numerous different things just get a hold of us um, you can send me an email cbr37b at gmail.com i'll help my dad who edits all these videos, put it on here. Um, or you can reach out to us on Facebook, Cody Borgeson Racing on Facebook or my pro personal eh, my personal profile if you are to friends with me or whatever. Um, that leads me into what is next. 2024, we don't know when we're gonna be out. As you guys can see, there's a lot to be done here. Yeah, we have most of our stuff that we need to you know, put together. But the plan for right now, if we don't gain sponsors that we need, um, it's just to put this thing together and race when we can. That's unfortunate for us. But in, you know, a different sense, we started a new business. And when I say we, my dad and I started Top Shelf Designs. It's right here. Established in 2021. We, did. we got into the sportswear business. Um, we do all sublimated products. We don't do, we don't do vinyl printing. We don't do Screen printing is strictly sublimated products, so we can do anything from business related stuff to if you have a baseball team, we can do your baseball jerseys, we can do your hockey jerseys, we can do your football jerseys, you get the point. Um, we also do racing stuff. I'm gonna show you guys um, some stuff that we can do. We also do sublimated jammies for little kids all the way up to adults. I mean, if you wanna wear footy pajamas and you're an adult, that's what you're into, great. Um, we can help you out. Um, another thing that we do, we're just getting into hats. We actually just bought a hat press. Um, we're going to do some embroidery stuff and patches. Our hats do start at $12. $12 is our, is our starting price for hats. Obviously, if you want a different hat, different patch, whatever, we can you know, get your quote to you based on customization. The minimum that we require for for hats is 12, um, sublimated products are minimum required is 10. That's for everything and you can mix and match everything except for hats. So you might wonder what sublimated sportswear looks like. Well, this is a prime example. This is a sublimated short sleeve t-shirt. This is called vented material. If you look very closely, I'm not sure if Amber can see it there. It's almost like it's see-through, but it's not, um, it's just, very breezy. It's really nice to wear on a nice warm summer day. You have a cotton-like shirt, short sleeve tee. It's almost like cotton. When you touch it, it feels just like cotton. Um, here's what the backside looks like. Again, top shelf designs. This is something very simple simple that we can do. Um, I'm gonna have to fold these later. Here's another thing we, we can do. 
This is another cotton length t-shirt. We can also do some stuff that's very complex. Um, there's the front, here's the back. There's that. Okay. Um, that we can also do baseball sweatshirts. This is a baseball sweatshirt we did for a team in Kansas, which is how Kansas to be exact. Um, there's the front of it. American uh, flag is on one sleeve. Their baseball jersey, their logo and their baseball jersey is on the other sleeve. Here's the inside of the hood. It's all custom. Um, Bellow City. So there's that. Um, everything, I'll touch on that in a second. Here's another racing one. We got a couple of different creators. Um, um, but this is our Cody Borgeson racing sweatshirt that we did last year. In the front, here's the inside of the hood with our number. Here's the back. So again, cotton-like feel. So our Koi Borgeson Racing stuff from last year. You can do something. This is very unique. Um, we can do literally take a picture of your race car or logo or whatever, whatever you got. Maybe it's someone playing baseball, maybe it's someone bowling, someone playing hockey, and put it exactly on the shirt as is. Um, that is a picture from last year. Going through the corner at Cedar Lake Speedway. As you can tell, it's very detailed. We can literally take it and put it on a shirt. Um, we can do quarter zips. Quarter zip um, short sleeve tees are wicking material. We can also do, I didn't touch on this, but we can do a wicking material uh, short sleeve tee as well. The nice thing about everything is we have low minimums. Our prices are low because we had the racers in mind or the people that really can't afford to buy merch and resell it. So Everything we get, we package and then we label it. So you might be wondering how to get a hold of us if you're interested in our Top Shelf apparel. We have a Facebook page called Top Shelf Designs um, or you can send us an email info at topshelfdesigns with a z.com put it right below here. If not, it'll be in our bio. Uh, all right, so that's it for us. We're gonna close it down this video. Um, if you're interested in sponsoring us, reach out to me on Facebook, either on my personal profile or my racing page, or send me an email at cbr37b at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Take care and have a blessed day.